For one of my friend's birthdays, I decided to paint his cat's eye, which I know sounds kind of funny, but his cat is essentially his son, and I wanted to create a piece that conveyed a sense of sweetness, happiness, and tenderness. So for the sketch, I was thinking about how people usually feel when their pets are looking up at them, tenderly with love and affection. It's almost like they're looking at you with hard eyes, like the emojis. So for this reason, the pupil needed to be a heart. I really do love creating, and that's one of the reasons why art is so enjoyable to me. So when I want to give someone a gift that comes from the heart, I tend to use art as my method to do that. I create a painting for them that's a representation of something specific in their life. So the plan was to paint the outer circle yellow, the middle circles would be green, the second to last shape before the pupil would be blue, then the pupil itself would be black. This was one of those mornings where I started painting in my pajamas and then I had to get ready for work. So after I got cute for work and then went back to painting, I totally just didn't reference any of my sketch and accidentally painted the next color blue. I was very much not a happy camper about this as I normally plan out all of my paintings, so this doesn't happen. Anyway, to fix the mistake, I painted all of the areas that were supposed to be green blue so they'd all have the same undercoat. Then I went into mixing the next color, lime green, because it was the closest to yellow and I wanted the painting to pop. Next I added blue because I was thinking, okay yeah, yellow, green, then blue. But I needed the blue to be tighter to the pupil and the green to be the main color because the cat's eyes aren't blue, they're green. For this piece, I wanted to play with the circular and heart shapes as well. Since it was representing something organic, I didn't feel the need to make the proportions or lines as precise as I could have, but I still wanted it to look neat. I allowed the heart to morph into the circular shape since the canvas itself is a circle and so are the eyes. The cat's eye is primarily green, but there is a gradient from yellow to blue that I wanted to accentuate as well. I ended up adding more greens and blues to the gradient until I felt that they looked unified within the piece, kind of like an aura orb. I wanted green to be the most prominent color in the painting. The yellow adds a sense of joy and the blue adds a sense of calmness, but together there's a positive connection. Even though I had most of the colors planned out for this piece, what normally happens when I'm painting, and which is also another reason why I like to sketch things out, it's just so that I have the base. And then once I'm looking at it, if I want to make changes, then I definitely can and it just makes it fun to problem solve in that way where I'm seeing what I'm working on and I'm like, hmm, I either do or don't love it and I can just fix it as I go. At the end of this video, I did add a picture of the cat and the final painting beside each other so you can get a better idea of exactly what it was that was my inspiration and all of that. Um, but. You'll notice that the cat has a little bit of brown in his eye and I used hearts as a representation to match since I like things that come in three. So I was like, okay, well the pupil's already a heart and this is very much not realism so I can essentially portray the little brown area in the cat's eye however I want. So I thought it would look nice if there were two little hearts in the area that the little brown spots are in because then the painting has three hearts bada bing bada boom <laughs> anyway after painting the pupil I finished the side by painting the border of the canvas black I usually like using black for the sides of a piece unless there's a specific reason to use a different color like sometimes I'll use silver or if I feel like the painting is missing a color and I'm doing a canvas that's gonna hang up somewhere, 
then I'll do it maybe purple or pink or whatever it is. But normally black would be my go-to. The outlining is always one of my favorite parts because it adds the balance and it's what brings the piece together. I decided on a mix of white and black lines and after adding all the black lines and the white ones, I added in one more white line in the green just to kind of pull everything together and have it so that there are three white lines and it bring that unity back in place, I guess would be a good way to put it. <laughs> For the gloss, I used two thin coats of the varnish. I poured it straight onto the canvas on the first coat and I used way too much so I had to let it drip off of the sides and then I cleaned it up. This gloss is a little weird though because it stays tacky for a really long time and the excess that was on the plate, since it was more than a thin brushed layer, didn't dry at all. Not that it needed to because it was just on the plate it was excess, but just as an observational note. After all of that, I had already initialed it and it was ready to be gifted and he really liked it so I was very happy about that. 